Hey, it's Dry Bear. It's time to stop sucking at Mythic Plus. And we do that today by going through all the add-ons and weak ores that you'll need to dominate Mythic Plus and get your uh, Keystone Master very quickly. Many of the dungeons in Season 1 have crucial interrupts that need to happen quickly or it can cause a wipe for your whole group. There's also mechanics that you need to be aware of that these add-ons that we're going to go through today and these weak ores that we're going to go through today will help make your experience significantly more enjoyable and easy as you push your keys higher and higher. And of course, if you have any questions or comments for me, feel free to drop by my live stream. I'm live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Come by and say hi, ask whatever you want. I'd love to answer your question. Now I'll put down in the description every single one of the add-ons and links to the weak auras that make it much better to play with. Um, so that if you look at, if you find anything that you like or really enjoy, you can easily just go down there and grab them. Now the first add-on that I recommend getting is Plater. I think that there are plenty of nameplate add-ons out there, but Plater has easily become one of my favorites uh, ever since BFA, just because it is easy to edit, it's easy to play with, and even just out of the box, it does a great job at highlighting priority spells and interrupts, as well as effects and specific mobs that can be really troublesome for you and your group as you're pushing through the dungeon. And one great example of this is highlighting spells that are uh, escalating in priority or effects. If it cannot be operated, it's gray. The base nameplate add-ons will do that. But Plater, out of the box with default settings, will show this. You can see how Ice Bolt is not a priority cast. Immediately after that, Ice Shield is a priority cast to kick. And you can see that right when it, went, when it shows up, there's a special animation that plays. It lights up. It shows that and it's a, a deeper shade of orange that says, okay, kick this. This is very important to get rid of, which is super nice. It also does a good job of highlighting when uh, a really high important cast is going on. So you can see when it's when uh, the first boss here in RLP is casting something that's not that important. It doesn't really catch your attention, but right when Chill Storm starts, which you need to move away from the group, uh, it starts moving, has special highlights on it, and shows different colors, which again, this is with default settings. Uh, it can be really easy and really up your game when you're playing in Mythic Plus. The other one is a bit of a given, but just in case, for those that don't know, getting deadly boss mods or bigwigs really helps show timers on screen. Out of the box, it will show you uh, abilities that are going on. It'll give you timers and, and uh, windows for effects, which really helps the overall. I mean, it's, it's almost required if you're not running uh, one or both uh, for, for fights, it can become incredibly difficult. You can cover some of the gaps with weak auras, but for the most part, you definitely want these in. And I wanted to, this video wouldn't be complete if I hadn't mentioned them. And on that note, let's talk about Little Wigs, which is a great add-on uh, for you to use uh, for the end of Court of Stars. Uh, it is a an additional plugin for Big Wigs, but what it does is it will automatically talk to the spy, uh, comp, like the NPCs in this last segment of Court of Stars. It will show on your screen the clues that you're getting, and then automatically broadcast them to your team. When you talk to them, instant click shows, shows no cape. When someone else finds one, it adds it to the list. And then when you find the, the spy, it automatically tells your party that you found the spy and marks them with a skull icon so everyone can see it. Uh, especially in high keys, this part needs to go quickly. It can really hurt you if you spend a lot of time doing this part of the, of the dungeon. So I would recommend getting big wigs and then also adding in uh, little wigs, uh, which is another add-on that allows you to do things like this in Court of Stars. The next one is a little controversial. Some people like it, some people don't. I started out not liking it, but I ended up really liking it over time as we've done more and more Mythic Plus, and that is going to be your interrupt add-on. You can get one called Announce Interrupts. What it does is it lets the group know when you've kicked a cast. Uh, it's just an added layer of protection to let people know so people don't line up on their interrupts. We'll talk about some uh, interrupt trackers like the one you see on screen here is a weak aura that shows everyone's interrupts, what they interrupted, and if it's available or not. Uh, and then obviously you can track whether it's ranged, melee, cooldown, that sort of thing. But uh, announce interrupt is something you'll see as people push higher, especially if they're pugging. It's helpful for someone to get an extra notifier of like, okay, I just kicked this, I interrupted it, uh, I made an announcement of it, uh, and it means that you can kind of, it's another way for you to see in the corner of your eye that something happened. Uh, which can be helpful. Some people don't like it, some people do. I figured I'd include it just as an extra. Now let's dig into weak auras, one of those powerful platforms you can have in your game. And I would say if you're pushing difficult content, uh, it is uh, kind of unheard of for you not to be having weak auras installed. It is an add-on by itself, uh, so you will be able to get it through add-on websites, uh, either through Curseforge or Overwolf or whatever it is, or just manually install it yourself. 
But the reason weak auras is so powerful is because you can import uh, effects and uh, interface add-ons that people make directly into weak auras, and it serves as a housing structure for those. And there's tons of them that are incredibly useful. Let's go through them right now. The first one is going to be the thundering weak aura. This is for the new uh, seasonal affix that we have in season one. Um, and it is a, an effect that exists on keys that are 10 and higher, uh, and it'll show up. But there's a really cool weak aura for it. It does a few things. One, it'll show a, a tracker on your screen. Uh, so if I go back and show this, right when thundering starts, uh, you can see that next to my, my heal meter here in the very middle of the screen, uh, it shows what charge I got and then how many of each charge are still left. And this is amazing for tracking it. If you don't know what thundering does, everyone gets marked with either plus or minus. Uh, and then you have 15 second timer that ticks down. You have a buff while it's up, but if the timer ends and there's more than one person that has a charge, the people that have charges left will get stunned for a good amount of time and then start taking ticking damage and it can wipe you very easily. So you want to know if four people have removed their charge and you do so by going to the opposite charge onto another party member. And when you touch, it removes both of your charges. What it does right when it starts as well, on top of adding this little UI element in the middle of the screen, is it will add in, it will actually say out loud in say, a bunch of pluses or a bunch of minuses. So when someone looks across the field and looks at your teammates, they say, oh, there's a plus over there, there's a minus over there. They don't really have to think about it. It is visually represented uh, above the, your character. Minus is wind, uh, lightning is plus. And so you look for either a lightning ball or a windstorm. Um, but this this weak aura makes it significantly easier, especially if everyone in the group has it, because that just makes it very visually represented to show uh, that you you have it or not. The next one is interrupt tracker. So this up here uh, on the left side of the screen, right up here. So you can see how right here it shows everyone in my group, all of their interrupts, what they interrupt, the image of the icon of the spell they interrupted, and how long is left on their cooldown. So this is something... There's several that do this. I use uh, Interrupt Tracker. It's really clean. You can put it anywhere on your screen, but it's super useful for Mythic Plus because it allows you to track interrupts. Uh, you can see, you know, you know, if you're wondering whether you should use your interrupt and you realize that you're the only one that has an interrupt ready, then you can pop it or you can see whose is ready or whose isn't um, and whether they're not going to come available or what spell they got if no one's running a interrupt, uh, an announce interrupts add-on as well. Next is a dungeon pack that I'll include in the description. This has... Uh, weak auras for every dungeon you can even add in um some legion um warlords and mists uh dungeon packs that help cover those dungeons but the one i've included does include uh the season one dungeons in it and what it does is it will have a for each of the boss encounters it will have pop-ups on the screen uh for the mechanics that you're facing so uh whether it's like fenrir with the jump it has it for all that so you can see right here uh this right here is where i have it situated it just tells you what you need to do or show you timers or things like that. It's a just a one fits one size fits all pack. And to extend from this, they have these for raids as well for Vault of the Incarnates. I would recommend getting this as well, importing it into your weak auras and putting it on your screen because having this general pack covers a lot with one single weak aura. The other one is M plus timer. Uh, it's shown on the right side of the screen here, this right here. Uh, I've had many people ask about this. There are tons of add-ons and weak auras that do this. This is one of the ones I like using because it's compact and puts it all together and it's very readable. And it also reminds me of uh, speed run, like uh, live live logging, live split. Uh, it looks like that. Uh, this one is just called M plus timer. I'll have it uh, in the description. It's a weak aura and it just shows you your current timer. The white bars indicate plus one, plus two, plus three. It shows you what the affixes are, how many deaths you have, the time for each boss and your total forces. And this one's really cool because it will it'll calculate uh, if you're in combat with trash mobs, it'll show you how much you're going to get if you complete combat and destroy the mobs you're in combat with. So it'll, it'll, it'll tally up how much forces you'll gain from your current combat, uh, which is super nice because if you're at 98 and you need 2% and you see that it's going to add 3% when you finish the mobs you have, you know you're done. And that way, if you're not a tank and you're not using uh, your, your, your mythic dungeon tool that tracks everything with a perfect route, then you'll be aware of what's going on uh, at all times. So I'll leave that in the description as well. The next one is a fun one. It's Mythic Plus Keys. This one is uh, kind of just fun to have. What it does is that if you type the command pl uh, exclamation point keys in your chat, uh, and then you, uh, you someone has their respawn, you can just type keys, it will pop up, and then anyone that has the add-on, it'll automatically display their current key. Like it'll link their current key uh, in the chat so everyone can see it. Uh, and it's very easy for a group if everyone has it. 
it's a nice little uh, nice little add-on. The next one is M Plus Auto Mark. I love this one. It makes life so easy, especially if you're making groups like I do all the time. Uh, it makes everything super straightforward. So if you have this add-on on, it will automatically, if, as soon as you highlight or enter combat with mobs that are a high priority in the current Mythic Plus season, it'll automatically mark them. So what you can do, I, the fastest way to, for you to do it is I just go and I, you'll probably see me periodically hover my mouse over all the mobs in the next pack. It'll automatically mark the ones that have priority casts, especially if those have multiple casts that need to be kicked uh, or interrupted. It'll automatically mark them so everyone can say, I'm going to I'm going to interrupt circle and you can interrupt X and or you can just designate people to do that. The auto marker is clutch for this because it really allows you to save time and make sure everyone is always on the same page. The other week core I want to highlight is group finder custom extension. I don't want to encourage gatekeeping or uh, discrimination based on uh, any kind of metrics, but it is something that's super useful. What it does when you have this week aura is it will, in your group finder, it will place a uh, region and show uh, your, their rating, their IO score as well, which is super useful. Um, I don't, you know, again, some people can mismanage this and use it for nefarious purposes, but it is useful, especially for someone that plugs a lot and makes my own groups. Having a big list of people that only show their class and their uh, eye level isn't super useful and I end up having to look through all of them individually. This group finder custom extension week aura just places it all next to their name so you can see it uh, and then you can hover on it, it shows information on it, uh, especially with your Raider IO, which is incredibly valuable. And the last one I'll touch on is of course Raider IO. Uh, it's kind of <laughs> a given, but just to make sure it's in the video, uh, you definitely wanna have this add on. This will allow you to track your Raider IO information. There were some changes that allowed Blizzard to integrate some of this into the game, but it's still best to have the add-on itself. Uh, it helps show uh, IOs of other of other players. It shows uh, best completions, times, total score. And what's super useful too is when you're playing on an alt, it'll display your main character's IO if it's higher, and you set it on Raider IO, Raider.io. You go on the website, log in, and set your main. It means that when you're playing on a character that's new, since I play basically all the classes, uh, it's useful when I have a character that hasn't done any Mythic Plus yet, uh, it'll show my mains IO, so when I'm trying to get into a group, uh, the, the, the leader knows that it's not someone who just hasn't done them before, I'm just on a different character. Uh, so definitely get Raider IO, it's down in the description, install it, get it going, uh, and that is it. Uh, I'll leave the video here. Uh, there's, there's a lot more nuanced stuff I can cover, but I think this, this toolkit gives you a good start going into Mythic Plus Season 1. If there's some that you wish were added or think that got left out, comment down below. Let me know which ones they were. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, be sure to stop by my live stream and uh, say hi, because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content. Link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.